Now, Ayanna Presley's GOP challenger got into a fist fight. Here's the first video. Donnie Palmer is his name, black Republican. Uh, the big fella is actually a boxer, even though he was getting his ass handed to him in that particular fight. It was really interesting. Uh, I got more video, here it is. Sean, you good? Sean, are you okay? Yo, we need cops, bro. No, sir, Sean is not okay, all right? Put up the picture. Once again, I do not condone violence. Let me give you the background. The Massachusetts GOP candidate involved in this fight is Donnie Palmer. At least one person was taken to the hospital and is expected to be okay according to the police. Two men who police have identified as Foster Starks of Cambridge and and Wayne Coleman of Ohio were taken into custody for assault and battery with a dangerous weapon. That's according to the Somerville PD. Palmer and his supporters were protesting outside the Somerville Theater where members of the squad, including Palmer's political opponent, Ms. Presley, were holding an event. Palmer said in a statement following the fight, and I quote, violence is, is never the answer. Now I want you to remember this quote. He says, violence is never the answer, but it seems to be the first resort for radical progressives whenever they seek seek to silence black Republicans. What? I, okay, okay. I know a number of black Republicans who have not been physically involved in combat. As a matter of fact, you're the only one that I'm aware of where this has happened. Now, sir, you say violence is never the answer. That was your quote, not mine, your quote. You said it on the record. Um, let's go ahead and put up the next picture. He's a boxer. Yeah, the guy who was having a rough time with a man half his size is a professional boxer. According to Ballotpedia, Palmer is a professional heavyweight boxer. And that's one of his belts, obviously made by Fisher Price. And here's one of his campaign posters. He says, knock out the squad, knock out the squad, send a fighter, Donnie Palmer to Congress. Well, sir, did you not just say it and I quote uh, that violence is never the answer? Your literal campaign propaganda is a call for violence, is it not? Okay. Interesting, fascinating at the same time. Once again, I do not condone violence. All right, Adrian Lawrence, thoughts here. Um, I, it's not that I do not, not condone violence. I just think that sometimes it can be problematic and sometimes it could be necessary. And in this case, this man definitely seemed to think that maybe it wasn't necessary. I'm guessing that's why he was taking those hits. I do know that I've known some fighters in my day. And the general thought is that if, um, you know, given that there is some <laughs> lethal aspects of their body, that they may be more inclined to let the other person um, get a few licks in or hits in because they know how violent they can be and they also know, you know, they can defend themselves. I really don't know necessarily what the story was with this gentleman. Um, but it definitely seems that, you know, maybe boxing isn't necessarily a strong suit, but also probably politics too. Mm. All right, there you have it.